Yeman. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you codfish baked beans stew or baked bean codfish stew. So you're gonna need about half a pound codfish. You can get boneless codfish, you can get skinless codfish. A seven ounce can baked beans, or 220 grams. One tablespoon parsley, one tablespoon basil. You can use any of these herbs fresh. An onion, a medium sized onion. One stock. Oh, whoops. Oh, I just spilled my pickled pepper. Alright, I gotta clean this up. Excuse me. And this is what I call giving my video character. So that pepper that just spilled, I'm going to use half scotch bonnet pepper. You can use like half a teaspoon of red shredded pepper. A small sized tomato. Three garlic cloves. An onion, I said before. Spring of thyme. I did say a tablespoon of basil. A tablespoon of sugar. and or a tablespoon of honey about half of quarter cup cooking oil I use coconut oil that's around four tablespoons of coconut oil today I'm gonna tenderize the codfish first and then remove the skin or the scale but first wash your codfish properly it's best if you do this part on the running water but with this bowl of water I'm demonstrating, wash the codfish properly, remove excess salt. Do this two between three times on the fresh running water. And give it a, a gentle squeeze, removing the water and the excess salt. Then add it to the pot of water and allow it to boil for five minutes tenderizing the codfish. Some people call, well, I should not say some people. Codfish is known as salt fish as well, so you know. So with the scallion, remove dying leaves, cut off ends, the root end and the tip of the leaf that's dying. That's a spring of thyme garlic cloves we're using three garlic cloves for this recipe peel the garlic cut off ends trim spoilage now with the onion what I like to do is cut it in half it's easier to handle peel onion remove brown leaf the first layer of the onion is the strongest so if you can save it do so. Now we're going to rinse the vegetables. It's easy if you just hold your vegetables on the fresh running water and wash them properly. That's all you need to do. After that, we're going to gather our ingredients now. Alright, so dice scallion, fine. Next, slice or dice onion. Do as you see me doing. After that, grind garlic to puree or pulp. You can use an, a knife and mash it as well. Keep ingredients separate.
with the tomato, cut off stem and then cut tomato in one eighth. Measure and add one tablespoon of parsley. Remember now, you can use any of these herbs fresh. Just chop it fine. Next, add one tablespoon basil. Measure and put aside a quarter between half teaspoon dried pimento berries. Do as you see me doing. Clean the surface of the can before you open it. This is one of those cans where you can just pop it open. I don't have to use an opener. It's been five minutes now since codfish boiling. It's tenderized enough. Remove it from the hot water and allow it to cool. Remove cooked or semi-cooked codfish from boiling water. Allow it to cool. And it's been five between 10 minutes. I just let it sit and cool by itself. All right, this method is where I boil it first, boil the codfish, and then now I'm easily removing the scale from the codfish by using a knife and just rub the skin. Just rub over the skin and the scale and the skin will come off easily. Just do as you see me doing. Remove the codfish's skin or scale or unscale and in the process debone the codfish as well. Where the fin is, just use your fingers and just pull the fin out. The fin usually has some bones with it. You just pull it out and the bones come out as well. So go through carefully and debone the codfish after you remove the codfish's scale. All right, I just wash this plate that I was using. And wash it properly because I don't want any scale on it. And you notice I have a bowl with some water. I put the codfish in it so that I can rinse off the scale. It's best if you do this part on the fresh running water, but hold the codfish properly. You don't want to wash off all the codfish down the sink. Now, you know something? I've always worried about this pickle pepper spilling, and it sure did today. Anyway, you just need half scotch bonnet pepper. And remember now, you can use about a quarter teaspoon of shredded red pepper. If Scotch bonnet pepper is not in your region. Measure and put aside as well a tablespoon of sugar. You can use granulated sugar. I like to add a tablespoon of sugar to these baked beans. Some of them, they're not as sweet as they used to be in the days. So I would recommend before adding the sugar, before I forget to say, after you add the first tablespoon of sugar, which for this meal is sufficient. But you can taste this too before adding the sugar. If you feel to yourself it needs to be sweetened somewhat, you add the sugar. All right, now I'm using a medium-sized saucepan. Put the medium-sized saucepan to the stove's gauge on low. In the process of doing that, be sure the saucepan is dry. Do as you see me doing, dry out the saucepan. Add oil, add half quarter cup oil, then add the pimento berries. I do this to maximize flavors from the pimento berries without having the berries in it. Allow it to flavor the oil five between 10 minutes with the stove skater low. 
so it's been five between ten minutes. The stove's gauge and low, almost off low, reduces the risk of the berries bursting and hurting you. Now would be a good time to remove the berries. Use a cooking spoon like I'm doing and remove the berries from the flavored oil. Now would be a good time to turn the stove's gauge on four. Turn the stove up on four, medium low. Immediately after that, add your codfish, your pre-cooked codfish chunks. Some people like to mince it up, they're fine, but for presentation purpose, I'm leaving the codfish chunks a little big today. So allow, allow to fry on one side until golden brown. Allow. Get some water ready. Get the saucepan's lid ready. After a minute between two, stove gauges on four, medium low, use a cooking spoon like I'm doing and flip codfish on the other side. It might be a little challenging, but just be gentle. You want to keep it old. And I like to fry the codfish before stewing it. That way it's crispy. Some people saute the seasoning, such as the onions and the, the scallion, before frying the codfish. But I like to do this way. Alright, so once you flip the codfish on the other side, add your chopped or sliced onions. Those gauges on four, medium low. Shuffle. Use a cooking spoon and shuffle the onions to the saucepan's bottom. Allow it to saute. 10 between 15 seconds later, add your chopped scallion. Use a cooking spoon, shuffle the seasonings or your vegetables in this case to the pot's bottom. Allow it to saute. You notice no oil. No oil is in the pan. I can use plenty. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon more. You can watch your pot, see where it's going. If you know you need to add some oil, do so or you can leave it as it is. Add your mashed garlic about 15-20 seconds later. Now would be a good time to stir in a pan, stir in a codfish with the sauteed onions and vegetable and scallion. If you don't have scallion, it's optional. Now add your chopped tomatoes. Stir it in a few times, allow it to saute. Add your spring thyme the spring of thyme. I'm going to add the herbs next. Just allow it to saute. We're going to have this meal today without have to stop and take out anything. I want you to have a good eating experience. 15-20 seconds later and the onions and scallion is sauteed along with the chopped tomatoes adding additional flavors that's not in a bottle nor in a package and add herbs stir it in a few times next add the baked beans measure and add a quarter cup or half a quarter cup water I would say go with half a quarter cup of water. If the baked beans are thick, add more water. If it's not that thick, don't add that much water. Alright, so add the salt and the pepper. Stir it in a few times. Now, now would be a good time to turn the stove's gauge on low. Just low. You know where Mark says low? Add a tablespoon of distilled white vinegar. Measure and add a tablespoon of honey. The honey is optional. You can use just the honey or you can use just the sugar. In today's case, I'm just using both to demonstrate that it can work. To so use the pan's lid, cover the pan properly. Stove's gauges are low. Allow. A minute 
between two this is what our baked beans codfish stew looks like or you can say codfish baked beans stew stir it in a few times see how thick your stew is I can smell the thyme stick some of these thymes in a, the aroma in it is so strong it takes over the, the entire stew if you feel that it's time to remove it do as you see me doing remove the thyme the pepper as well use a pan slate cover it and allow this is our stew what I want I'm just showing it to you just leave the lid on and allow it to sit on low four minutes in this is what our stew looks like it's thickening this is what you want. I can smell the aroma. Once the stew starts sticking to the pot's bottom, that's a sign to say it's ready. If you feel like it's too watery, you can always turn the stove up on six, medium high. And just stir it in. Stir it in gentle, because you want to keep the codfish together. And watch your stew, watch the gravy. You want the gravy to be thick and juicy. You see the sauce sticks to the pot's bottom that's your sign to say it's ready the stove off cover it until serving before serving it's best if you stir your stew in and moist up everything all right take a scoop of this codfish baked bean stew or baked bean codfish stew i'm not sure when i'm gonna label it on the website that's why i'm calling it both so I'm calling it both names. Today I'm having it with plain white rice. Codfish baked beans stew. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like, share. You should try cooking this meal yourself and give us feedback. Codfish baked beans stew. Or if you want to say baked beans codfish stew or baked beans salt fish stew or salt fish stew. You notice I didn't add any ketchup. You could have added a tablespoon of ketchup. It would have thickened the stew somewhat. It's optional. It's just fine without it. Time to eat. Most people should know what baked bean tastes like. It has the flavor of baked beans. The herbs blend with the baked bean. Nice. Giving it a, a delicious flavor. The codfish is crispy and cooked. A little bit salty but this, the flavor of the salt is only in the codfish it's not in the stew and it's not salty salty I just taste a little bit of salt in the fish some people say they soak the codfish overnight that will remove the excess water I've never done that before The sweetness in this is is just right. Initially, I was thinking I should have added more sugar. As I eat more of this codfish baked bean stew, the sugar is just right. For a seven ounce can, or a seven ounce can or a 220 gram can of baked beans. And if you don't want to fry the codfish crispy, as me, you can always saute the onions first and then add the codfish after. I'm enjoying this codfish baked beans stew. It's a simple meal. It's healthy and flavorful. The herbs goes well with this meal
I have a chicken baked beans you can go and see that video if you would like and I really thought I've done this video already because this codfish baked beans is is typically served for breakfast in Jamaica nevertheless sometimes we eat it for dinner as well the herbs blend lovely with this codfish baked beans stew you see the tomato it's juicy and, it, and the tomato complements this complements this codfish baked bean stew good while eating still look for bones you don't want to get hurt I would recommend before cooking the codfish look through the codfish properly and remove all bones the only reason why I didn't do that today is because I wanted to keep the codfish properly I mean I wanted to keep the codfish in one piece but for you, go through and remove the bones properly, especially if you're feeding, if you're serving this meal to, chil to children. Ch chil kids are not going to be so cautious as we. In fact, every parent know that. So they always remove the bone. They always do. So. If you serve this to kids, remove the bone. Take time out and make sure all the bone is removed. Alright, so you see me enjoying this meal. If you wanna, if you wanna try it, if you want some, if you want some of this meal, try cooking it yourself. And give us feedback. I have this small proportion of leave. I'm just gonna put some more stew so I can finish off my dinner. You must agree with me, this sauce looks juicy and nice. Well, it tastes, the flavor of it is just as how it looks. Take my word for it. You saw me cook the whole thing. If it needed anything, I would have told you. You will enjoy this meal. You will enjoy this codfish baked beans stew. It's not sweet. Don't be intimidated by the sugar that you saw me add. All it does is spruce the flavor up a little bit. It's not gonna make it sweet. If you know anything about me, I'm sweet sensitive, so you don't have to worry about the sweetness. Till next time, bye. Yeah, man!